In this video, you'll learn how to create multiple dependent drop-down lists in Excel. While it might sound complicated, I'll break it down for you step-by-step. Step. Here's an example. When you select a region from a drop-down menu, it determines the football clubs available in the next drop-down. For instance, selecting Europe will show only European teams, while choosing Asia will display only Asian teams. This logic continues with the city drop-down as well. Once you understand the concept of dependent drop-downs, we'll take it a step further with an advanced scenario. In this example, answers will auto-populate based on your selections and will include an error checking system. For instance, if a region is set to Europe and the country is set to Asia, the system will highlight the mismatch as it doesn't make sense. Surprisingly, all of this is easy to set up. We'll cover four examples that gradually increase in complexity and you can download the files for free from the video description to follow along. Let's dive in. To start, we need to create a drop-down menu for the regions. This is straightforward. Go to the Data tab and select Data Validation. In the pop-up that appears, choose the List option and set the list source to include all region names, e.g. from E2 to H2. Click OK, and now you'll see a drop-down containing all the regions. For example, if we select Africa, the drop-down is ready. Next, we'll use the XLOOKUP formula to dynamically display the corresponding football clubs. Here's how the formula works. Type equal XLOOKUP, hit the tab key, and specify the lookup value, in this case, the selected region, like Africa. Add a comma, and for the lookup array, select the row containing the regions, e.g. E2H2. Add another comma and for the return array, select the table containing the football clubs, e.g. E3H9. Close the parentheses and press enter. Now, when Africa is selected, the formula retrieves all African football clubs. If you change the region to Europe, the list updates to display the seven European teams. And the same logic applies for Asia and its corresponding teams. Now we need to incorporate the XLOOKUP formula directly into data validation to turn it into a drop-down menu. First, delete the formula we just created. Then go to data validation again and choose the list option. This time, We'll use the XLOOKUP formula within the data validation. Type equals XLOOKUP, open the parentheses, and select the lookup value, in this case, the cell containing the region, like B3. To keep it dynamic and prevent the cell reference from being locked, with dollar signs, type it manually instead of clicking. Add a comma, Specify the lookup array, the range containing all the region options, and then another comma for the return array, the range with the football teams. For the return array, ensure the range is locked with dollar signs so it stays fixed while the lookup value remains dynamic. Once the formula is complete, click OK. Now, the dropdown will dynamically update based on the region you select. For instance, if the region is America, you'll see Cerro Largo as an option. If you switch to Asia, the options update to show Pohang Steelers. Great. We've now set up a fully functional dependent dropdown for regions and football teams. But what if we want to include another variable, like cities, along with stadiums, capacities, and team managers? In this example, we'll add those details into the drop-down logic, and it's quite similar to what we've done so far. First, go to Data Validation again and choose the List option. This time, we'll use another XLOOKUP formula, start by typing equals XLOOKUP, and instead of using the region, we'll look up the selected football club in cell C4. 
add a comma, and for the lookup array, select the range of football teams, e.g. E9, E20. This time, the list is vertical instead of horizontal. Add another comma, and for the return array, select the entire range of additional details, e.g. city to team manager. Close the parentheses and click OK. At this stage, you might notice the dropdown doesn't look correct because the data is displayed horizontally while we need it vertically. To fix this, use the transpose function, which converts horizontal data into vertical format or vice versa. Wrap the entire XLOOKUP formula with transpose at the beginning and close it at the end. Hit enter. Now everything should work perfectly. The dropdown dynamically updates based on the selected football team, showing cities, stadiums, capacities, and team managers in the correct format. Test it out by switching between different teams. It works seamlessly. Let's take a closer look at the Europe region. If we change the selection to a European football club, you might notice an issue. The current dropdown still shows values from the Asian League, like Pohang Steelers, which no longer makes sense. To address this, we can create an error indicator by crossing out the incorrect value and highlighting it in red. Here's how to set it up. First, we'll identify all the football teams within the selected region using an XLOOKUP formula, just like we've done before. In this case, we're looking for all clubs in the Europe region. This logic will be applied inside conditional formatting. Select the football club cell and go to conditional formatting. Scroll down to new rule and choose the option to use a formula. Within the formula box, Use an XLOOKUP combined with a COUNTIFS function to check if the selected football club belongs to the correct region. Set the condition so that if the result equals zero, it indicates an error. Go to the Format With dropdown and select Custom Format. Modify the settings to cross out the text and highlight it in red. Click OK twice to apply the changes. Now, if the selected region is Europe, but the football club is Pohong Steelers, it will be crossed out and highlighted red to indicate the error. If you change it to a valid European club, like Manchester City, the dropdown becomes valid again. Finally, test the setup with other regions and clubs to confirm everything works perfectly. This example shows how flexible and powerful conditional formatting can be. To learn more, check out this video or explore our Excel course linked here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.